So we're about to enter a Confederate cemetery on Johnson's Island um, in Marblehead, Ohio, close to Lake Erie. Actually, right on the banks of Lake Erie. Let's check it out. As you can see, um, a lot of these stones aren't marked because uh, they were Confederate prisoners on this island. So a lot of them that you're going to be looking at today are the same thing. Um, I think a couple of them has names on them. Um, we'll check that out today, but as you can see, a lot of them don't have names. And none of this first row has any names on it. And they were unmarked because they, you know, they had no idea who they were. They didn't know the identity of them. It was a prison, so um, they just buried them. Well, these two. These two have names on them. W.C. Rady, Company G, 11th Kentucky Cavalry. And this one's M.H. Michael, Lieutenant, 59th Virginia Infantry. So, um, there's a couple, here's some more with names on them. Um, John Nickel, Surgeon, 2nd Kentucky. James Webb, Captain 8th, Arkansas. Willis Randall, Lieutenant, Company G, 52nd, North Carolina. So, I mean, a lot of these, um, they're in really good shape, too. Uh, these were in place in 1910, I believe. So, uh, this one's Alabama. And this one's Lexington, North Carolina, Lieutenant. This one's actually got a penny. So you go through this whole entire cemetery, um, all of these stones you see, some of them has names, some of them don't. Um, and if we go a little farther down this way, and again we are on Johnson's Island on Lake Erie, and this was a, a Confederate camp, prison. Um, there's a really, really cool monument right here. Um, it's, uh, Confederate soldiers, they were masons on the side here. Southern, 1910, directed by the Robert Patton Chapter, United Daughters of the Confederacy of Cincinnati, Ohio. So in this hollowed ground, surrounded by the iron fence and gates that date to 1912, are 200, six marble grave markers. These markers were placed in 1890, okay. Courtesy of the citizens of Georgia, replacing the original hand-carved wooden markers in 1904. The Robert Patton chapter of 445 United Daughters of the Confederacy purchased the cemetery and cared for it until it was presented to the federal government in a formal ceremony on uh, June 5th, 1932. 267 sets of remains uh, of those who died at the prison camp from 1862 to 1865 have been located through uh, the use of non-invasive ground penetrating radar. Uh, these earthly remains are guarded by the lookout. The beautiful bronze statue which we see. So this is the, uh, the entrance, the formal entrance of this cemetery, Johnson's Island Confederate Cemetery. Let's see what it says. Confederate soldiers. Um, there's not a whole lot of these in Ohio because, you know, Ohio was in the Union. So, I mean, there were just a few Confederate soldiers all throughout Ohio. 
um, and this was this was a prison um, for for the Confederate soldiers. So they were all buried in here, uh, the ones that they you know uh, could bury. So that's where we are today. Just a pretty cool little side side trip here for you. Not too often you see a Confederate cemetery in Ohio, but it's also pretty cool because look at that view. You can see barely um, Cedar Point. You see Top Thrill Dragster right, right in this area from this location. So we're on Jonathan's Island. Pretty cool. If you ever get a chance to come to Marblehead, close to Sandusky, do it. Uh, visit this Confederate cemetery. It's a big part of history. So this is pretty cool. I don't know how well you can see this or not, but this is a basically a, a layout of this cemetery. So these right here are remains and then these are obviously the stones so you see the row of stones and then these are remains so what's crazy is there's the statue this is the CSA cross right there you see in the middle there and then all these remains so literally all of that if you come over here this is what I think is the craziest part is this fence line right here you see that fence line they're actually in the fence line and outside the fence line entrance way there's where we came in outside then you go all the way over here even by the road so what I think they did was I just dug a bunch of holes and just threw bodies in there I mean that's the only way they're not going to properly bury them because they're the enemy why would they do that so all these remains it's pretty insane so this is the entrance way the flagpole and then this right here is what we're looking at so pretty cool I wish all cemeteries had that Right, Shania? Yeah. <laughs>